Hello friends, welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Coming to the question number 26. So this is related to the graph shown in figure below. There are multiple shortest paths between the vertices S and D. Of course this is a source vertex of course something like target. Which one will be reported by discussed the shortest path algorithm? Of course assume that in any iteration the shortest path to your vertex is updated only when this is a very most important when a strictly shorter path V is discovered okay yeah so what is the shortest path from S to T okay uh, of course you can follow the discussed algorithm okay uh, you just check it out what is discussed algorithm uh, this also I explained in my videos in design and analysis of algorithm course in my channel uh, you can find that playlist and basically how you can get this one that means discussed algorithm gives the shortest path uh, from a source to the all the remaining vertices okay you can take a source what are the shortest paths the remaining vertices you can get it out okay uh, let us suppose if i consider s2 d s2 d direct path is 7 might be you can get another path which is the shortest might be you can check it out right yeah like s2 d d2 d i mean s2 b b2 d so this also 3 plus 4 7 both are same right so sometimes you may get the shortest paths okay so that shortest paths you have to find it out for example s2 e s2 e i can proceed like s2 a a to c c2 e that is 6 here and if i go like this s2 d d2 e 8 here i can go like this s2 b b2 d plus i mean b i mean d2 e so this is 8 so shortest is this one right so like this we have shortest path okay yeah anyway first i'll check it out the options here first so that uh, which is the shortest we'll see sdt what is the path s2d d2t 7 plus 3 10 here and sbdt uh, s2b 3 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 3 10 here s2 a c d t so 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 Oh, sorry 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 3 11 here and uh, S A C E T uh, 6 plus 4 10 so definitely I can remove the option C so if there is a competition among options A B and D right so we have to find so here you cannot say like it's a it consists on less number of vertices so this is a shortest path you cannot say and this is also very important whenever there exists a shorter then only you update okay so we'll see that one and anyway i have taken here uh, a table in order to explain this one uh, initial i'll take here all the vertices so anyway s is a source i won't take that one now initially initially uh, we have to write what is s to a s to b s to c all the direct paths okay what is the distance of direct paths if there is no direct path directly keep infinity okay let us suppose s2 a direct path is there for s2 b yes 3 s2 c there is no direct path s2 a a to c is there. so directly write infinity s2 d yes direct 7 s2 a no s2 f no s2 g no direct path okay infinity right s to t also infinity okay initially you have to write like this then find it out what is the minimum value in this what is the minimum value 3 so that means s to b what is the direct path i mean shortest path 3 you cannot get the shortest path other than this 3 in this even when you go for any path okay that you can take s to b is over you write here b let it be b is over so not required to take b again this is empty next I'll take next one like what is s to a is direct uh, is the shortest or s to b b to a that means s to a via b is the direct I mean that is the shortest that we need to find right now okay that means whenever you get minimum that has to be taken right now I'll take out what is s to a 4 we know but s to b b to a check it out s to b is 3 3 plus b to a nothing is there so 3 plus infinity which is infinity so infinity and uh, 4 shortest is 4 only 
okay like this we need to update s to c anyway infinity s to b b to c check it out s to b 3 b to c nothing so again infinity s to d so 7 s to b b to d 3 plus 4 7 but here also 7 okay now no need to update right so check it out here this is a condition whenever there exists a shorter then only update otherwise don't update so s to d only have to take right now s to e via b what is s to b is there b to e nothing so again infinity s to f s to b b to f no f course s to b b to g no so infinity s to b b to t nothing now four okay i'll take like this otherwise you'll get confused so four infinity seven like this so minimum value is four right so s to a is four so this is i'm following the concept of discussed algorithm so s to a is four so this is also over so you cannot get uh, the shortest compared to this even if you go any path s to a it directly is the shortest right s to a is the direct is the shortest s to b is the direct is the shortest we got it till now now we have to find so we got a right so now we have to check it out a okay s to a a to c okay s to actual value is infinity s to a a to c what is the value 5 5 comma infinity 5 is the shortest update it now d s to d is 7 s to a a to d s to a is 4 a to d nothing is there direct so infinity so don't update previous value as it is now s to e what is s to e direct is infinity s to a 4 but for a to e nothing is there so infinity now s to f okay s to f infinity anyway s to a a to f infinity you can no need to update and s to g again i think you won't find okay s to t also okay now the shortest is 5 right so these are not required so s to c is the shortest one is 5 that is s to a a to c is the shortest now c you got it now we'll find out for this 5 s to d s to d is 7 what is s to c c to d s to c is 5 right direct we got it as 5 right s to c is 5 we got it and 5 to of course we got the answer that only you have to check it out s to c is 5 5 comma 5 to d c to d 3 5 plus 3 8 so here you have 7 and now you are getting 8 right s to c is 5 plus 3 8 so which is the shortest 7 only no need to update now s to e s to c is 5 5 and c to e 1 5 plus 1 6 of course i can update previously it is infinity now it is 6 now s to c is 5 c to f is there c to f nothing infinity and now c to g c to g no infinity c to t infinity now 7 6 all infinity shortest is 6 so this is over that means s to e is the shortest which is 6 now we have to find from e s to e what is s to e now we got 6 6 to which we require d s to e to d yes 1 so 6 plus 1 7 previous you have 7 see there is no shortest right you got 7 only we cannot update right 7 only here we need to write yeah here you can see s to e is 7, 6 6 to e to f is there any e to f no infinity e to g yes this one 2 so 2 plus 6 8 previously infinity i'll update to 8 now t e to t is there 4 so 6 plus 4 10 right now 7 8 10 the minimum value is 7 so this part is not required so s2 
d direct value 7 anyway i have to write here s2 e is not updated s2 d these are the shortest path we got it till now s2 d 7 now these three we'll see we got here as d right now okay now s2 d d2 f right so what is d2 f d2 f 5 5 plus 7 12 I can update y because previously infinity now d2 g what is d2 g nothing is there infinity that's why 8 only previous value I can keep it anyway 7 plus infinity 7 comma 8 that's why 8 is a minimum next d2 t is there 3 3 plus 7 10 as previous also 10 so that's why no need to update previous value I can keep now 12 8 and 10 the minimum is 8 so g s2 g is our answer 8 so how we got s2 g means 8 is directly means uh, we got it from like this s2 e that is e to g right yeah we got it so that's why this part okay s2 g is also over next we have only two f and t so we'll check it out with g whatever we got it till now okay yeah s2 g 8 right 8 8 plus g to f is there any g to f no so 8 plus infinity infinity here 12 as it is i'll keep yeah t so g to t what is g to t 3 is there 3 plus 8 11 but here previously 10 is there as it is 10 now you can see 12 10 which is the shortest 10 is the shortest so how did you get this 10 from i think e only right so from e so this is a path we got it shortest okay now anyway if you want you can further proceed or else we got our answer what is the shortest from s2 t you can see we got the answer here even if you want you can check it out this one finally uh, we got here as t and s2 t2 what we need to write f what is t2 f 5 5 plus 10 15 but here we have 12 12 is the shortest which you got i think from d so this path now if you clearly observe what is the path you got from s2 t so s a c e t there is no path we got like s d t yes we didn't get as per discussed as per this condition SBDT we didn't get even SBDT is also we didn't get so this part option D is the correct answer so like this we have to do we can learn from this MCQ like how to proceed with the disk extra and how to follow when this condition is given question number 27 uh, here it is pre order traversal is given of a binary set tree which one of the following is a post order traversal see whenever the question is asked like find the pre pre order or post order we need two things for a binary set tree order one is either a pre order or post order and definitely you need to have in order right but here only pre order is given but you it is asking to find post order so how can we find it that means we know that whenever a binary set tree is given if i go with the in order if I go with the in order of a binary set tree, definitely all the elements will be in ascending order, sorted order, right? So first in order, there is no need to uh, mention this in order here. Even if it is not mentioned, you directly take the in order, I mean, sorted order, which will be in order. Like if I sort these elements, now this is in order and pre order is given. Of course, above shows like uh, it's a construction of a tree. Okay, directly how we need to construct, I'll show, I'll explain here. So, like this, it is there. What you need to do first? So, first, you have to, en and we know that in a pre order, in a pre order, always, okay, if you see the first element in the pre order, that definitely will be your root node, right? In the binary set string so that's why in a pre-order you have 30 that's why so 30 i will write here okay i'll write 30 and now i'll take where is this 30 in the in order 
not here in the in order where is this 30 here now whatever the elements left of 30 will be in the left subtree whatever the elements are there on the right will be in the right subtree right so you can see five elements on the left three elements on the right okay i'll write that 10 15 20 23 25 here 35 39 42 okay now again river i mean recursively go for this procedure 10 15 20 23 25 okay these are the elements on the left and check it out what is the next element 20 which is in the pre-order which is a root of this subtree so 20 i have to take okay here i have to take 20 and you can see in in order what are the left 10 15 all right you have 23 24 right similarly here these elements are over right up till 25 23 is over now you can see 35 39 42 are the elements you have and check it out which comes first 39 so 39 is here and of course anyway two elements are there one is on the left one is on the right directly i can write it over here but here you can see is 10 15 is given which will be on the parent which will be a I mean child can i write 15 here and left as 10 or 10 is the parent and 15 on the right check it out here what is there next 10 is there that's why 10 will be a parent so that's why 15 will go on to the right if 15 is a parent then we'll go to the left according to the binary h tree similarly 23 25 you can check it out 25 comes first that's why 25 here so 23 is less than here right so like this we can have a binary set string like this we need to construct okay now i think you know how to go for the post order traversal of this one okay what is a post order means first you need to visit the nodes then parent okay okay like 30 i mean for a root node parents are this again you go recursively until the last comes okay what is the last year null year 15 so 15 comes first 15 no two nodes are there here null here 15 and then parent visiting nodes then parent so 15 10 of course we have only b and d options are right we'll check it out 15 10 then checking for this one this part is over left part this right part 25 there is a node 23 has to be visited first so 23 then parent 25 then this entire part is over okay and then visit the parent of this 20 anyway our answer is over 15 10 23 yeah this part option d is the correct anyway we'll continue this part is over 20 is the left part and right part 39 again i'll go to the left part 35 then node 42 two children then parent 39 and this entire part is the left part this is the right part and parent third okay like this so answer is option d and remember here in pre-order first node will be a root node in the tree and in the post order last node will be a root node okay last node will be a root node like this also you can consider wherever in pre-order whatever the node is there 30 in the post order it will come at the last like that also we can check it out so our option d is the correct answer again regarding binary set string two keys are given okay uh, to write an algorithm which prints the all the elements between them with k1 less than or k2 so this is a question like let us suppose if i give k1 as something like 10 k2 as 35 that means 10 and 35 what are the middle elements what are the middle elements in this how to find it so we if we follow the concept of in order definitely these elements will be in the 
sorted order right like 10 15 like this whatever I explained in the previous question okay now we have to find what are the elements in between so what are the elements actually 15 is there 23 20 of course 20 first then 23 25 then 30 then 35 that's it right of course 35 is the element which is given that's right. of course 30 so how to find it is asking is that needs two extra spaces is that linear solution is possible no linear solution and solution at one extra space. so in general if you consider so if I go with the in order concept you can trace all the elements in linear time only so how we need to proceed especially if I give k1 and code k2 so I'll take k1 first I'll go with the root is it equals to k1 okay then I'll check for k2 on the right side is that right why because k1 is the left one okay like this if I given k equals 30 no need of going to the left part right always these are all elements are less than so if it is not I'll check it out if it is if your root node is less than I want to search for k1 right yeah on the right side but if your root node is greater than k1 okay if your root node is k1 I'll go to the left part now 20 is a 20 is again greater than k1 as per our question so I'll come to the left whenever it is less than I'll go to the right like this we have to consider so now it is true right k1 we got it now I'll go for the in order traversal from here till the k2 comes till k2 comes I'll go for the in order traversal of all the elements that's it where I'll go to the linear solution and there is no extra space is required simply traversing like this in a binary search tree and whenever you got like this you are going okay so like this we have to answer this question so option B is the correct answer and you want to read an explanation you can see here okay if the root recursively we need to go if it is greater then recursive to the left if it is okay then the value key is in range print the directly the value otherwise smaller recursive to the right part like this we need to consider where complexity is in and uh, there is no extra space is required big of one is fine right so this is about our question 28 coming to question number 29 how will you find the minimum element in a binary search tree so what is the minimum element and what is the maximum element in a binary search tree so extreme left node will be your minimum element extreme right node will be the maximum element you can observe here in our question so what is extreme left 10 is the minimum element of this BST binary search tree of course 42 extreme right Okay, this is not extreme left you can consider this is extreme left okay there is no left node okay if you find phi here that will be the minimum in this BST of course this will be the maximum so here the logic is given you can see so A B C D which is the correct one it is asking so it is going here always root of left is not equals to going to the left every time of course seems like correct we will check B again here also here also going to the left okay it is also and here going to the right def that's why definitely not this is also not we'll check it out in these two so this is root of left is not equals to null then finding root equals to root of left that means it is going like this okay 30 25 going like this until null comes let us suppose here it is null okay root of left that means here it is null what it is printing root of data you will get phi anyway find this one why not this one why not this one you can say while root is not equals null it is not root of left root if phi is null no going to this null now if it is null then only it comes to printing what is root null null dot data null you are not getting right so th I think this is a correct answer we have to check it out clearly is it root of left or root so root of left should be there here okay so that's why option B option A is the correct answer and of course if you want to go to the right I think maximum value this will be the right answer so for our question option A is the correct answer yeah 
now this is a question regarding balanced binary set string how would you construct balanced binary set string here we can see so any anyway in general we'll construct a binary set string then we will uh, make it balanced right every time okay now it is asking how would you construct a wheel tree when a set of numbers are given without performing any rotations so actually whenever it is not balanced like will perform rotations like left rotation right rotation but the efficient way is here like when you find so the i think here it's simply like finding the median that means when you find the median of the set of elements and then if you make a root then you construct i think it will be balanced why because median means the middle element according to the values so like this if you construct there will no, there will no point of getting imbalance like we know that uh, in uh, balanced the situation this is acceptable but not like this this is not acceptable right here three here one like this so this what about this one this is acceptable left part and right part the thing we can see like the height according to that if it is imbalance we have to balance but efficient way of constructing means you have to take median so option b is a correct answer we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you